Imagine blowing out 200 candles on your birthday cake. Your great-great-grandkids are singing to you, and you still remember your first smartphone. But here's the twist. Would living that long actually be a blessing or a burden? Scientists are already pushing the limits of human life, from gene editing to age-reversing cells. What once sounded like science fiction is starting to look real. So what happens when humans stop dying at 80 and start thriving past 150? Let's explore what life to 200 would really look like physically, socially, and emotionally. Aging isn't just about wrinkles. It's about cellular decay. Every time your cells divide, your DNA shortens. But scientists have found ways to slow that process, even reverse it, using telomerase, CRISPR, and stem cell regeneration. In mice, age reversal has already worked. The next test subject? Us. Picture it. 22nd century humans working at 120, starting families at 90, retiring at 170. Medicine has cured heart disease, replaced organs like Lego pieces, and even repaired memory loss. But here's the dark side. Population explodes, resources run thin, and society must decide who gets to live longer. Would life extension become the new class divide? Outliving everyone you know, watching generations pass while you remain the same, that kind of longevity could feel lonely. Would memories start to blur? Would love still feel the same after 150 years? Or would humans evolve emotionally, learning to handle eternal life with wisdom and patience? Here's the truth. Living to 200 isn't just about science. It's about redefining what it means to be human. Longevity won't just stretch our years. It will stretch our minds, our morals, and our meaning. So the real question isn't can we live to 200, it's should we? Would you trade mortality for more time if it meant changing everything you know about life, love, and purpose? Tell me in the comments, would you want to live to 200?